I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Yao go dan dayun and welcome to the first video on this channel. I wanted to make this channel to show you what I as a German have to struggle with while living here in Iceland. And the first episode couldn't be more typical. Yesterday I went on a ride together with my boyfriend and some locals who also own horses. And they were talking something in Icelandic. My Icelandic isn't really good yet, so I couldn't understand what they were talking about. But they basically decided, without my knowledge, that it would be good for me if I could participate in a horse competition on Saturday. Yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, which leaves me with, what, four days of training? And I should maybe mention that I've never participated in an Icelandic horse competition. I've ridden Icelandic horses my whole life, but more for fun because I really don't like stressful situations. I'm much rather, I don't know, alone with the horse. So the plan for today is actually to go back to the stable and choose a horse for the competition because my young horse is currently just running in piggy pace. It's his favorite gate at the moment and we're working on getting the trot but yeah, so nothing for a competition. We have two other horses at the stable um, they are currently not on shoes, so um, today we really have to decide which horse I'm going to take with me. And yes, we will bring you along! We just stopped by at Storikambe, which is the farm that we will run this season. Um, so, so you can get some riding pants. But I can also introduce you to our best workers. Perla, Skata! Skata! This is Perla. This is Skata. And they apparently enjoy the new snow that we got. <laughs> Oh! I should mention that this is not like a serious competition. I think the locals use it mainly as a trainings option so that the horses can get used to like, well, the atmosphere of a competition. Um, and it's not really like for a five gate competition either. It's just walk, trot and tilt. Um, but still for me, it's pretty exciting. I mean, they want to basically integrate me into the horse community here as fast as possible. That's why I didn't say no to it and also because Icelanders are stubborn as goats so you can try to say no but it doesn't really work. <laughs> so in the background you can see Storikambe and here's our winter field with the Storikambe horses. Okay, most of them are hiding behind that hill over there.
phone call <laughs> and it turns out the horses on the winter field escape. So we're going all the way back now and trying to catch our horses and then, well, hopefully we come back and try the horses. now that I'm driving the car, opening the broken gate and secure the roads basically while Siggy is taking the snowmobile and chasing the horses. So let's go! Little monsters! They have completely broken this fence. Oh, but look at you! You are such good ponies! Oh by the way, never call Icelandic horses ponies! Locals will get offended. Oh, this is much harder with one hand. Okay, I have to put the camera. And here are our escapees. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. They know exactly what to do, exactly where they belong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone back in the fence. No, Scotty! Did you run all the way to help from the farm? Oh, it's no more wine. Oh, you're such a good doggo. But you were a bit too slow. Okay, so I have the girls in the back, Scotty, so she doesn't have to run the whole way home. And Panta, where's Panta? There! Panta also belongs to the back. <laughs> and yes, so I will drive back to Sturikambe to the farm, pick up Siggy, um, and then we try to go over the mountain again to the other stable to try out the other two horses as originally planned. And the plan has changed a little bit. Um, I thought I would try two horses but as I mentioned before they don't have shoes on so I wanted to try both decide who I'm taking to the competition and um, yeah then let the farrier come but the farrier <laughs> just showed up and is now showing both of the horses for me so um, that's really nice and that's also a character trait of the Icelanders they are really kind and they will always help you.
true size for stood. So I have only ridden Congo today. Um, he was quite good. He was very stiff, but it's I guess usual after a long break on the winter field. And I'm quite happy with him. So he's still quite young, I believe, eight years old. And um, my only worry with him is that he m might get too distracted in an indoor arena because he's not really used to it. But I like him a lot and we will drive back to the stable tomorrow to put some uh, shoes on Stilt as well. But I think I will probably ride Congo. Um, and yeah, then I got kidnapped. <laughs> also a really typical thing here in Iceland because uh, the other people at the stable decided to go on a ride with me. And you basically have no time to argue with that because like within three seconds they all went on their horses and they said, okay, come on, can we go on a ride? And you're just like, okay. I guess we do and uh, but it turned out really really nice we had beautiful weather and we even saw some whales but I forgot to take my phone with me so no videos from that but it was really really cool so we're back at the stable to try the second horse today <laughs> and uh, yeah then we will decide or oh, study which one we will take for the competition oh a riding hand no. Can you hold this? Sure. the times that I said the plan has changed um, maybe you can write your guess in the comments and I just want you to know every time I said these words a tiny little part of my German heart broke <laughs> I really love plants a lot but I guess I have to get used to being more spontaneous Fett <laughs> Oh no, there's a car stuck in front of me. Oh no. 